Hey there everybody. This video is just going to be a really quick introduction to a new yarn that I have received and started working with this week and it's been very very nice so I thought I would let you all in on it and see what you think of it as well. So this is the Sudar number no. one yarn and it is available in lots and lots of very beautiful colours. I only have these two colours here because these are the two that I specifically wanted for two separate projects. So we've got obviously a really beautiful be soft baby blue and then we've just got a pure white because I'm actually in the process of doing a, a really nice white blanket. So the this is a double knit yarn so it's a DK yarn but I would not I would definitely not class this as an everyday DK yarn. This isn't in line with your paint box Simply DK or your Stylecraft Special or anything like that. This is what I would definitely class as a luxury DK because this is more than twice the price of a regular DK yarn. So you, when you think your Stylecraft and your paint box and things are about £2 a ball, this is actually nearer to the £5 mark per ball. But I can definitely say it is absolutely definitely worth it if you've got a really special project in mind. So as I say it's DK yarn, it's 100 grams like you would expect, that is what you would usually get and you get approximately 230 meters in this. Now this is a mix, this is a 50% acrylic and 50% nylon blend and what that means is that it is absolutely incredibly soft. It really is one of the nicest DK yarns that I have squished basically. So it still uses the four millimeter hook and all of that sort of things but it is very very soft and it has been really nice to work with. Now normally when you look at yarn you can see obviously it's all twisted and things and this one obviously is twisted, but it doesn't seem to be fraying at all or anything like that. It is really, really tightly wound and it has just been a pleasure to work with so far. It also has a really nice sheen to it as well. So you may not really be able to tell in the video, but it does have a wonderful sheen to the yarn as well. So I have started working with the white so far. I've started working up a pattern for a really nice, neutral, classic white baby blanket. So I've been quite excited about getting this one done for you because I just, you don't see that many pure white blankets. And I just thought it really takes me back to, you know, classic, blankets when they used to be made they would just be white and I just thought it would be a really nice idea to do that. So it seems like it would be really low shedding and things like that as well because less as I say it's not furry or anything like that. I'm trying to get as close as I can without it distorting and going fuzzy but you can see there is absolutely zero fuzz on this but it's got that lovely sheen, it's very soft. It has been a pleasure to work with as well. I haven't come across any problems yet at all. It's been really, really nice to, to work with. So I purchased these from Snufflebean, so I will leave a link to her website in the description box because that is where I purchased these ones from, but some of the, well, all of the colors are lovely but some of them are absolutely amazing. There's a really deep, deep purple that just looks incredible, but I didn't know what I would use it for, so I didn't buy it. But there are loads of colors to go and check out. So you will see the blanket that I have been making with this one very, very soon. It's working up amazingly well. I'm so happy with it. And then I will probably do something else with the blue. I just had to have the blue because it was such a nice color. 
But that is pretty much all that you need to know. You know what it's called, you know how much it costs, where you can buy it, your hook size and what it is made from. So yeah, go and check out the link and let me know if you get it or what you would make with it if you did have it. But I will see you for another yarn review slash tutorial very soon. But thanks as always for tuning in and watching and remember to give it a quick thumbs up if you like it. And if there's any other yarns and things that you would like to know a little bit more about, maybe leave me a comment and we'll go from there. But thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.